Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We all use one or the other communication devices which gets connected to the internet. Maybe it is your smartphone, your tablet or your MacBook. Whatever you are using, you all must have heard the term MAC address and hence you must have heard MAC spoofing also. Even many of you have also googled how to do MAC spoofing on Android and so and so. Most people search this to use WhatsApp with the same number on two devices maybe to spy upon their partner or just because they do not like to carry their device to the workplace. Some apps also need the MAC address of the device changed if you want to link multiple accounts on the same device. But what actually is MAC spoofing? What are its uses and how it is done both in Windows and in Linux? To know all these curious questions, keep watching this video till the end. Most of you must be knowing MAC address as a set of number specific to every device used to identify the device connected. Let me give you a brief introduction to MAC address and what these numbers actually mean in the easiest possible way. After watching this video you will be able to change MAC addresses easily after identifying the needs to do so. The media access control hence MAC address is a binary number used to uniquely identify computer network adapters. These numbers sometimes called hardware addresses or physical addresses are hard coded into the network hardware during the manufacturing process or stored in firmware and designed to not be modified. By convention they are usually written in one of the following formats. The leftmost 6 digits that is the first 24 bits called a prefix is associated with the adapter manufacturer. The rightmost digits of a MAC address represent an identification number for the specific device. Among all devices manufactured with the same vendor prefix, each is given their own unique 24-bit number. MAC addresses are used by devices on the same network to communicate among themselves. For example, a mobile device sends request of a web page to the router MAC address and the router after fetching that particular web page sends the response to the correct mobile device with the same MAC address from where the request had been originated. If there was no such system, then you may imagine what would happen. You would request for a page and the page would open up in your dad's device. Nowadays since the number of communication devices with each individual is ever increasing, the IPv4 system is posing limitations to the system. So IPv6 is being taken into play and so there are 64-bit MAC addresses being assigned to the devices. I will soon be coming up with a video to explain IPv4 and IPv6 systems. So please stay tuned to the channel and subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest updates. Now that you have done that, let us discuss about MAC spoofing. MAC spoofing is a technique for changing a factory assigned media access control address of a network interface on a networked device. This makes an operating system believe that the network card has the MAC address of a user's choice. It is not actually changing the hard coded number as it is designed to not be able to be changed. But this process is only on the software side to spoof other users or the operating system to believe what it is seeing. The process of masking a MAC address is known as MAC spoofing. Some internet service providers link each of the residential customer accounts to the MAC addresses of the home network router or other gateway device. The address seen by the provider doesn't change until the customer replaces their gateway such as by installing a new router. When a residential gateway is changed, the internet provider now sees a different MAC address being reported and blocks that network from going online. A process called cloning solves this problem by enabling the router that is the gateway to keep reporting the old MAC address to the provider even though its own hardware address is different. Many a times MAC spoofing may be used by hackers or penetration testers to gain access to networks whose password they have cracked but the router is either allowing only specific devices to connect to the network or is filtering away specific devices. The router is doing all this with the help of MAC addresses and this process adopted by the router is known as MAC filtering. In such cases, the MAC address of the device may be changed on the software end to the MAC address of a device which is allowed by the router to connect. In this way, the router is spoofed to believe our device's MAC address is whitelisted. In Windows OS, to find out the MAC address of your network cards, just fire up the command prompt and then type in the command ipconfig slash all. This will display the details of the available network cards in your system. The MAC address is listed under the name physical address. In the Android OS, you can find the MAC address of your device under the status tab in the about page in your settings option. To change your MAC address in Windows, head on to the change adapter settings under network and sharing center in the control panel. There, select your network card for which you want to spoof the MAC address. Go to properties of the card by right clicking on it, 
Click on configure and navigate to the advanced tab in the new dialog box and select network address. Here you may set your desired value of the MAC address which you wish to spoof. In Android, you are required to have the device rooted in order to change the MAC address. Once you are rooted, you can easily do it with apps like device ID changer available on the Play Store. I hope this video helped you in clearing out the concepts of MAC address and MAC spoofing. If so, then please leave behind a like for this video as this would motivate me a lot to bring great content for you. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button before leaving in order to get all the future awesome tech updates. See you in the next video, till then, goodbye.